you make more than a substantial difference in many people's lives. It's more than a big, it's more than inspirational. It's safety, to be quite frank. Do you inspire people? Absolutely. Do you help people through some hard times? Absolutely. But this reading today is specifically focused on the fact that people see you as a true miracle to have. We live in a world full of darkness and each of us together are making it a better place. But a big part of keeping that going is being, what? United. What I see right now is all of these people you've been making a difference to, you would do this regardless of anything. It's not in you to become what was around you. It has always been within you to prevail even when you didn't know how to protect yourself. Now, you know how to do the same thing, but still protect yourself. Spirit stating, you also have released timelines. You've released caring about when something will happen. You're very patient. You've been patient for something. Could be love, but it's not the only thing. These are collective. There's been some new beginning, some aha moment. You've been patiently understanding you must trust in divine timing for that this present moment is on their way. This opportunity is flying off course to you is what it's stating, which means whatever this new energy is or return of energy is, feels like they're going against the grain to do this. This could be, again, one specific person or a job, a person that's taking a chance, if you will. It's on anybody, though. It's not just specifically you that this instance they would be taking a leap of faith on somebody. This person sees you as completely different than the other individuals they had they had before in this position, if you will. Either at the position as their partner, the position as somebody they trusted with a lot of information, their business. A person that cared more about substances than bringing substance. That's the biggest thing they're attracted to about you, is your ability to take that energy and not do nothing with it. Your work ethic, no matter what is thrown your way, you turn it into inspiration, power, etc. You know what you want, you're very strategic, you understand the game of chess that is life, but that the souls are not pawns. They see that you've dealt with a lot of injustice in your life, but again, you did not succumb to what was around you. And you have balanced your law of karma. You have honored and embraced your past and what it taught you. And you don't avoid who you once were. You just are so focused on what is now and going forward. Everybody has their rock bottom story. Every person you look up to, it's because you in their soul, like you can feel it took them a lot. 
and they know something that can help me to get where they are and rise above even that. Because all of our individual destiny has no tally mark, but has individual meanings. What is to you the highest timeline is not the same to me. What the highest timeline to each of us is not the same to the next person in the room. So when we understand there is no person we are truly ever in competition with. It's game-changing energy. This person sees you're not willing to gamble on what is important to you. That you are, in a sense, a no-bullshit type of person. And I say it that way because you have patience and you know when a line is crossed though. And when that line is crossed, people really, they can't really get back over it because your line to cross is severe to begin with. You're a very understanding person. So they understand that you're willing to take the leap of faith, but you're not willing to gamble on the importance. This person sees you as more though than this chivalrous, it's a hard word for me to say, but chivalry, like chivalrous type of energy. They see you more than also a person that they can take from. This, the, this energy is not them focusing on what you give them. It's, it truly is focusing on who you are, which shows me this person is not infatuated by you. They see you. There's a difference. In the past, it would have felt like gambling to take a chance on you. Now, it's complete opposite. Okay. Well, we're going to take these ones. Yeah, this person, no matter if it's a love reading or not, extremely inspired by your ability to also not shy away from stating what makes you inspired. A lot of people feel strength has to be this, this quiet ability to take up a room or etc. And that's a form of strength, but there's many forms of strength. Your ability to wrap around a person's heart is not like a snake. It's comfort. It's protection. The person in this reading knows there's, uh, there's unfinished words they'd like to say to you. Nobody's forcing them to stay away from you or reach out to you, not reach out to you. Nobody's forcing them to do anything. They've realized that whatever was happening in their circumstance, no matter if you were in their life or not, it wasn't going to work out. That it was, it was time to move forward. This has all happened for a reason. You have a past life and you had to experience each other and separate for further growth. But which two were the ones that knocked down? Are you fucking kidding me right now? The two that knocked down were Ron and Hermione. And there's so many different opinions about these two being together, right? Some people think it's beautiful that it was meant to be. Some people think it doesn't make sense. She should have been with somebody else, yada, yada. But at the end of the day, they're happy. This is their story. This is their love. And they stopped caring about what other people would think. <laughs> um, let's just pull one card in the middle because that feels pretty good to me literally just what we were talking about you're gonna have to fight through deceit together not fight with each other but remember the outside world they're just trying to hit your shield and the only people that are going to be projecting their fear and also this goes also into this is a career-based reading 
a business-based reading, this also goes into this as well about so many people think maybe your your journey, your decisions to leave one safe area of life to do what you really feel like you're meant to do here is crazy. You have to not care because you're so in love with your purpose and focused that you're not letting anybody cloud your judgment. You're fighting through the deceit of what others say, the naysayers. And you're remembering the only people that are trying to really tear you down is because there's something within your self, your passion, your tenacity, your ability to be you authentically that triggers them. That makes them feel better trying to deny your truth than looking into themselves. The people, the individuals, for the love reading, most of them would be in not the, I'm not going to say they were in horrible relationships. Some of them are that would be caring about your dynamics. Some of them, though, are in relationships that, you know, are are good people but they're just not happy they're not in love and they've settled and it's hard for them to see other people who are true divines find and feel that love not knowing the only person cutting them off from it is, the, is themselves no matter how this reading is for you you know exactly who to have your armor on and off to because you can pay attention to the way your body and mind and abilities work together all at once. You have more than luck on your side. You have faith and your actions, energies, thoughts, and motivations and motives are of high vibration. Or for the greater, the, the bigger picture, the greater good. And this dynamic is part of that greater good. Let everything else form from there. And I'll see you when I see you. Let's get it.